Life after the wall is going to hold some major challenges for the two Germanys. For example, in East Germany, a bus driver can make more money than a brain surgeon. And that story holds true for many other white-collar workers. It's just one of the things that Steve Kraft found out during his visit to the Berlin Wall. Why do these inequities in the economy threaten East Germany? Because it's created a real brain drain in the country, especially since the wall is no longer a barrier. Some of the most highly skilled people in East Germany must choose between serving their fellow citizens at very low wages or leaving the security of home to make more money in West Germany. Now, to illustrate this problem, try to imagine an American brain surgeon living like this. An infant would fit in it, maybe, but it's Dr. Signal Luca's bathtub. What's this? This is my tub where I wash them. Yeah. That's where you don't you? You have no uh, no shower, no no bath. No. This is where you wash. Yeah. And this is the way to Dr. Luca's toilet. She doesn't have one in her cramped one-room East Berlin apartment. So she must share these rather spartan facilities with a neighbor. Dr. Luca's apartment is heated. The bathroom is not. A sun lamp helps. Signa has done what she could to make her apartment a decent place to live. But this, this is roughing it. It's like uh, camping your whole life. Yeah, yeah, like camping. <laughs> In fact, Signa Luca is one unhappy camper, which is unfortunate for East Germany because she is one of its most valuable citizens. Dr. Luca is a brain surgeon with four years of experience and many more years of education behind her. Her specialty is removing tumors. Sometimes she'll operate for 18 hours straight. But she's only paid 1,200 East German marks per month. A bus driver or factory worker, she says, earns as much as 2,000 marks a month. How can a brain surgeon be paid so much less than a bus driver? Yes, it's our socialist system. I don't know why. Dr. Luca says it's clear to her that the East German government favors workers over professionals, and it's getting on her nerves. She's tired of her perpetually leaking ceiling, which the government won't fix, and the difficulty she has in stocking her refrigerator with food. Much of what little she's able to buy she gets during newly permitted shopping trips into West Berlin. Dr. Luca has received several job offers from West German hospitals. There are times she's tempted to leave. I think about it, to go to the West, so many times. I think and thought and thought and... But so far, Dr. Luca hasn't left her job at the sprawling state hospital in Röntgendal, some 20 miles north of East Berlin. She hasn't quit, even though her job, just like her living situation, comes with its share of frustrations. The hospital has some high-tech equipment, for example, a CAT scan machine. But in some ways, conditions here are relatively primitive. There is no laser surgery. And a doctor here told me that the machinery in the intensive care unit is 15 years behind the times. Many other doctors have left. But so far, Dr. Luca has hung on for one reason. She doesn't want to leave her patients. Although patients, they need some help. And when all doctors go to the best, what could they do? The patients. Still, she says, the urge to leave is getting stronger. There's a picture of a road in Dr. Luca's apartment. It's one she might someday be on, heading west. All these talented people leaving is a tremendous problem right now in East Germany. Many hospitals are already critically understaffed. I'm sure she knows something about the way American doctors are paid. What does she think about that? She thinks that they are wildly overpaid, just unbelievably overpaid. But uh, she uh, and many other East Germans also realize that they're going to have to do something to keep their doctors in the country. Now, tomorrow, we know all about the East Germans who have fled to the West by the hundreds of thousands. But some eventually come back home, and you'll meet them tomorrow. Thank you, Steve. Very interesting. Sure.